Hello my friends and welcome to Install the Trunk Channel. This is Uncle Misha. I have a little package from DigiKey and this is very interesting microcontroller Beetle ESP32 C6 mini development board. Yep, and I have like one, two, three, three of them in this package. So let's take a look closer. What the heck we got here? All right, um, I do have some ideas in order to uh, improve some of my uh, uh, existing project and I decided to do a research to see what, um, how to say, what is the modern um, microcontroller which can replace some of the uh, older microcontrollers I have around uh, or development board. So one of them is uh, Nordic Semiconductor based, uh, which are you know, more expensive and uh, harder to get. These days, ESP32 offers huge potential. And I decided to take a look at this um, uh, ESP32 C6 mini development boards. And this one, as you see here from the F robot. So let's just open the package. This nice uh, anti-static bag. This not, doesn't have to be really anti-static because each device is individually packaged, obviously. Sorry for crinkling. Look at this nice package. It's like pretty much weightless. All right, so I have three of them. I'm just gonna put one to the side, two to the side and just pick one. Yeah, look at this. It's almost like a candy packaged in like, in like a just a candy-like packaging. Obviously, there are some headers, which uh, we have like tons of them lying around. Now, look at that teeny tiny board. Let's see. Nice. Just this is actually pretty cool packaging. I like it. All right. So I think we need a close-up for that. All right, look at this cute and small board and it's probably weighs like, a, I don't know, two grams or something nice and small. Um, so as you see on top here, we have canless uh, setup, like without the big can right here. We have USB-C, we have a ESP32C6 chip. Here is the resonator on the back. I think we have some voltage regulation and stuff. But let's talk about each individual component and pin out of this board in depth. Okay, so now we have here a printout which actually shows us a little bit zoomed in version of this teeny tiny guy. So what do we have here? We have, this is a reset button, the reset button right here. Obviously this is USB-C for boot button. Okay, this is pin out. Okay, and we have actually different uh, mm, peripherals explained here. Then on other side, this is a SP32C6 chip right here and uh, two LEDs you know, charge. And as I understand, this is boot or bootloader. Um, this is a uh, resonator with this teeny tiny guy. On the other side, we have TP4057, which is lithium ba battery charger. So this guy essentially can charge single cell lithium battery and probably has also voltage regulator. And here we are, three and three volt low voltage regulator, which is gonna be powering the whole thing. And uh, what else do we have? I guess this is another voltage regulator, I assume, which is not listed here. Okay. And uh, on the other side of this cheat sheet, we have a pinout diagram. So this guy has a whole lot, a lot of different, a lot of different pins, um, uh, GPIOs. It has Arduino. It has also um, GPU mapping in Arduino. So this this little guy works with Arduino IDE, which is amazing. I2C interface, WART interface, SPI interface, and uh, default is DAO, JTAG. So this is all pretty cool. And here is the configuration of all pins, all different modes that can be supported. I assume these are how they can map, be mapped in Arduino. But let's talk about, um, this is too bright. Let's talk about the ESP32 C6 itself. So this is what is 
this is what's inside this little teeny tiny chip, all right? So it contains a high performance RISC V processor, 32 bit, and low performance RISC V processor. It has cache, JTAG, ROM, SRAM, memory, and all these cool whole whack of peripherals. So a wireless board contains Wi Fi, obviously, mount Bluetooth, and uh, as well, a RAV supports. Uh, this is the whole RF section, okay, 2.4 gigahertz only, all right, and this is all whack of peripherals. It has I2S, SPI, I2C, GPIO, uh, LP, low power IO, so this is, I guess, this section, white right, is low power, the power management unit, it contains whole whack of security stuff, okay, this I, I, it has 12-bit ADC, by the way, USB GTAC serial debugging, and uh, by the way, SPI, if you, in case I, I have printed out another cheat sheet right here with all possible features this this C6 chip supports, and it like um, Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, it's only 2.4 gigahertz base, so n not here, not there. I would like to have it, you know, at 5 gigahertz, being very nice. Bluetooth it supports 5.3. It has. I've been forming antenna, I'm not sure how this really works, I assume not with this particular guy because this is simple, very simple antenna right here. So high performance processor up to 160 megahertz for stage pipeline, you know, this is their features and um, low performance RISC-V processor, so I guess this guy's dual core uh, two stage pipeline, hold the features of ROM and um, uh, SRAM for high and low performance uh, processors. Okay, it's SPI, SPI dual spec, quad SPI, QPI interface, you know, flash controllers, and whole lot of um, peripherals, like 12-bit ADC, seven channels, temperature sensor, I'm not sure whereabouts. And here we are, CAN, it also supports CAN, pulse with modulated, motor control pulse with modulated, you know, and so on and so forth. What else do we have cool here? It has security encryption, and in here we are as all sorts of creative, uh, hardware acceleration. So um, I think it also supports. It doesn't say here. I think this guy supports like Zigbee and stuff. So um, it's it's not just Wi-Fi. It's multi multi standard multi protocol uh, RF uh, implementation right here. But I guess this particular guy, its bootloader does not support anything but Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth. But anyways, nevertheless, this is pretty cool to have. So really really nice chip with lots of features capabilities. So here we are, this schematic. So this schematic contains not much more than a, a SPF, a ESP32C6 itself. Here the module, a resonator, um, and a little bit of indicators. Here is the voltage regulator, just right here. And here is the charge uh, re, um, controller, charging controller. And I guess that what I thought is voltage regulator is this a transistor, field effect transistor, probably between switching from actually voltage regulation to charging. So battery ground connected here, sorry, this is not ground, battery connected here and USB is connected here, okay? Okay, and our next step would be try to power this guy up using USB-C cable. Let's see what we get. So in, as we see, it is blinking. So obviously it has loaded default sketch, which is blinking. Um, it is very easy to start working with Arduino IDE and this board. A uh, very, very simple actually tutorial uh, how to set it up is on the F robot website. I can provide you a link. It's very easy to start. Uh, if you're familiar with Arduino IDE, ID, you can easily uh, set it up and start it working. I think at this moment I'm gonna wrap up. I think we covered everything um, uh, in, uh, uh, that related to this uh, Beetle ESP32C6 from DF Robot. Um, the only thing what's left is to actually try to use this in some kind of project. And that's gonna be probably another video. 
Well, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for being with me with this short review of the product. Stay safe and ciao. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.